Now, what was it like when you were growing up here? With it was just more split. It was more like half white and half black. Probably even keel, pretty much. Who found out about Nantucket first? I did. Okay. I found out through a friend of mine, Jesse. And are you wh where are you working these days? Uh, on the other wastewater treatment plant. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. How's that going? Great. Is it all right out oh, there? Yeah. Yeah, excellent job. This is a levee, right? Yeah, this is called a levee. This is what stops the river from flowing over into the town. Now, right there, that guy just passed right yeah. there? Yeah. He was caught writing uh, some bad slogans all over the buildings around here. He's a real what, oh, yeah. racist type Oh, yeah, of... oh, yeah. How do you deal with that? You got to live together, and you got to get right. along, so... Right. It's, it's, a, it's a hard thing to sort of deal with in a sense, you know what I mean? But I'm the type of person, uh, you can be as racist as you like, as long as you don't try to inflict it on me, you know? And that's when the tables change, you see? Sure. Because I myself, personally, I'm not racist. I can care less what color you are, you know what I mean? Yep. As long as you treat me like I'm a human being. That's right. You know? And uh, until you cross me with your views, then I keep mine to myself, you see? Yeah. That's all that goes in. I think it's a very silly thing. You know, how could you dislike somebody that you don't even know? Right. Or dislike somebody because they're darker or lighter than you. Right. You know? Right. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and everybody pray to the same God. You know, pretty much. For those who believe in in God. You know, and we all kneel and the first thing we go is our father. So I would think if we all have the same father, then how can we all be so different? so many ways. Do you see a big difference? Here? A no, well, yeah, here in the north. That's a big difference. Uh, in a sense, uh, uh, racial acceptance, I guess you could say. You know, I mean, uh, here, it's just starting to sort of break through where, you know, um, whites really visit blacks. I mean, I'm talking about around this town, you know, and the kids are beginning to sort of hang with each other. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid growing up here, you know, you could have friends in school and stuff. I mean, I had a few white friends in school, but after the bell ring, we knew what we did. Didn't have to talk about it. it wasn't said, he went his way, I went mine. Right. You know? Right. We seen each other in the store, we waved, we sort of keep, kept going our own way. Right. You know, um, it was just an un understood thing. No one had to talk about it. So, but um, now you're starting to, See the things change. I mean, when I first got to Nantucket, and it, not that it mattered to me, when I seen little white kids and black kids hanging together and spending the night, it took, I was shocked, you know what I mean? I couldn't believe that this black kid was going to spend the night with this little white kid. Didn't really make a difference to me, it's just that I never seen it. That's the way I thought it should have been, you know, and it never was here. You know, man, I dare you. I mean, white or black, ask your mother or your father, could you go spend the night, you know? just didn't happen. And I, I think that the best thing to get rid of all that is you gotta allow, you, allow yourself to mingle with people who are different from you. you know, yeah, you, you gotta allow, reach out. Once you allow yourself to mingle with people that you consider visually that are different from you, then you realize in all other aspects, they're just the same as you. Do you think being like part of Nantucket is being like you're almost special just because you're from Nantucket now? Uh, I, I definitely think that Nantucket is a special place. Um, it's a place I always go even if I move. But also, you know, in its own way, even though as you view it, you know what I mean, to some people, there's nothing here, but this is special to me also. Being here and in this type of environment taught me to accept a lot of things. Not having, I think, made me a better person than having would have, you know, and I appreciate here, you see? You know, not that I, want to continue, wanted to continue live this way, but I'm glad that I did because I think I got something out of it. Did you think, do you think you got something out of living on Nantucket? Oh yes. What, most, what, what do you think you got out most, of it? Most definitely I got something out of living. living what do you think Nantucket. it taught you? Nant Nantucket taught me some of the things that then around, I am worthy of having something, you know, that's one of the things, you know. Um, Nantucket taught me that around, you know, I could get along with everybody, and Nantucket definitely taught me a lot racially, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, everybody I looked at that had blonde hair wasn't bad, 
You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't have to fear everybody that was white. You know what I mean? Yeah. Being from here, you, you grow up with the attitude, you know what I mean? Yeah. If he's white, he's gonna screw you. You know what I mean? And that's just the way it was. But see, after a while, you know, when you go other places, and that's what I said earlier, you mingle with other people, you realize that ain't so. You know what I mean? Everybody's not bad. That sunset there is beautiful, man. This is Madigan. <laughs> this is Madigan. <laughs> yeah.